celebrating a birthday and anniversary on the same day. Well, that made for double the fun at May Watts Elementary School recently, where our own Christine Lena stopped by for the story. 30 years of educating students in Naperville makes May Watts Elementary worthy of a special celebration. We actually didn't turn 30 today. It happened in February. Uh, and that's kind of a weird story too because they took uh, the school and moved the entire school in February of 1989 when this actually opened up. Uh, so we decided to, to bump it to May so that we could kind of incorporate May Watts in it. Students and teachers, old and new, were invited to the school for a night to recognize 30 years of accomplishments and to reconnect with the May Watts community. Well, I saw one little girl who I had who just got married. She's showing me her wedding pictures and I had a student who was a teacher because she came and did some observation in my class. So it's been very fun. Aside from checking out old photos, awards and artifacts, it was also a night to remember who the school stands for. I think we've done a really good job of kind of keeping our namesake, May Watts, alive um, for uh, the, the whole 30 years of existence of the school. She's played a big part in the Naperville area and uh, in terms of her conservation and environmentalism. So that part has been uh, something that we've kind of stayed true to. On the May 1st celebration, May Thielgard Watts would have celebrated her 126th birthday. She was known as a teacher, author, and for her environmental work at the Morton Arboretum. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Christine Lena. Another fun fact about Mae Watts, the person, she helped establish the Illinois Prairie Path in the 1970s.